Hi, I'm John from HeatAddicts.com. And I'm Julia. And today, we're, after a break for a week, we're back. We're going to be doing another review. And today our review is going to be Piney Hob from Nepper's Peppers. This is yet another one that we've reviewed from him. We've tried the Hobber Melon before. We tried the Seventh Circle. We love both of them. Mm -hmm. We love pineapple. We love habanero. So we're going to see what's going on with this one. What could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could end up enjoying it. You never know. Exactly. Hmm. All right. So let's get down to business. All right. So as far as ingredients. Whoops. I figure out which way I want to turn the bottle. Uh, ingredients are pineapple, carrot, habanero, water, vinegar, brown sugar, onion, lemon juice, and garlic. And the color of the sauce... Um, it it's has orange, a, with a little goldish tint, gold tint to it, yeah. Yeah, it definitely has an orange color. It looks a little bit thicker in the bottle with maybe the carrot shavings and the pepper and all like, yeah, that. Yeah, there might be a little bit of pineapple pulp in yeah, there too. Yeah, and you definitely see the habanero uh, seeds floating around and stuff. So, um, yeah, I think it'll be a good time. It also, out, out of all the ones that we've reviewed from Nepper's Peppers, actually out of hot sauces in general, this is one of our favorite labels. Well, at least my favorite. I, I just love the look of it. It has all the information on it. It says what it's great with, you know. Heat scale on the side. Heat scale. I mean, it's just good graphic work, you know. Yeah. It, you know, it fits. But anyhow, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> the hopper melon was really good. It was pretty hot for a hot for a habanero sauce. It was pretty hot. So I'm expecting this to yeah. be a little bit on the hot side, too. Yeah, that hopper melon was... That really actually that actually packed a punch. Um, it was great on chicken wings. It was really good. So we're really really looking forward to trying this one of his. Looks good. We've been eyeballing it for a while. It's probably been on the shelf for a little bit. So um, oh, yeah. we're gonna be making a ham steak uh, dinner with this. It is recommended to put it on pig. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ham and pineapple. Come on. What could go wrong? All right. <laughs> With some right. thick stuff collected in the neck that. Ooh. You, you want to go get like a, a toothpick or something? Toothpick? All right, yeah. I'll be right back. There it goes. There we go. I think I heard a bubble pop. Yeah. Ooh, just smelling it off the toothpick. You can definitely smell the peppers. I smell a little bit of a citrusy smell. Mmm, just smells really good actually. I'm looking forward. I really want to lick this. Is it not coming out for It's us? not even coming out! Well, we can do a technical difficulty. Yeah. This stuff is thick. It's like a paste. I wonder if it's been on the shelf for so long that it's lost. It doesn't smell like it smells good still, but it's just... You know what? Yeah. That'll do for that one. <laughs> We're gonna do a technical difficulty, huh? Yeah, this is a thick sauce. Oh, it's coming out better now. Ooh, doggy. <laughs> yeah, we're, there's gonna be technical difficulties there. All right, here. I'm gonna give myself. Oh, you do a couple of tiny spoons. You're supposed to get the big spoons. Oh, it's all right. Oh, well. We're doing technical difficulties. I can go and get another no, one. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. I just realized afterwards that we're, we're doing it on small spoons. Mm. Alright, let's talk about what we spent. Alright, All right, now, now we're back on track. Sorry back. about the delay there. <laughs> the sauce was uh, being a little bit difficult coming out of the bottom. Yeah. Anyway, um, I smell pineapple. Mm. Yeah, I can smell the citrus of the pineapple. I can Definitely. smell the, the, the bite of the, the habanero in there. Yep. There's little chunks of seeds in there. I mean, it's really, really thick, as you can tell thick. from the pouring difficulties. Yeah, definitely. Um, kind of has an applesauce look to it. Yeah, yeah, applesauce, but it's got like a, a, a more citrusy scent. Yeah. All right, Cheers, down let's the do this. Oh wow. Ooh, ooh. That's pretty burly. I can't, I can't even talk right now. It's it's really hurting right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a pretty intense burn for if I can uh mutter out any words here, I'll say that uh it was very thick. It was very yeah. applesauce kind of consistency. Oh, Keep it in frame now. <laughs> and um 
it was very kind of chewy in a sense, but yeah, like I mean, this oh is probably going to be really good on our ham. It'll probably Ooh. stick to the ham when it's all get you pretty good. Yeah, like my, my, my the sides of my tongue feel the burn in the back of my throat. I, I, oh my gosh! Whoa. I'm, that's really effective. Oh wow! Tears about are going down my face. My mouth is salivating. Oh my gosh. John's getting the hiccups. I gotta drink some water while I end up peeping this up. It's good. I think this is gonna be pretty good on food. So uh on that. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go make some food and try this on food. Like it's a really good flavor. The only complaint really is that it's too thick. Oh. Wow. And it's hot. Woo. Yeah, we're gonna go make some food, try and get something down. Alright, we'll be back. Yep. See you guys in a few. All right, and we're back. We uh, made our, well, she made some uh, ham steaks, yams, and green beans for us. Mm -hmm. Cooked it all up. I already smothered it in the sauce. <laughs> but actually, you want to talk, I'm going to pour the beer. All right, um, so as you could tell from the last bit, um, my mouth was on fire. I could not believe how hot this habanero sauce was right out the gate. The mushiness, as I was saying, it was kind of chewy applesauce kind of texture but I don't know if it was the red Caribbean habaneros but holy moly that yeah th this sauce packed a was... punch it was I could barely talk uh, the 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 heat that was just going down traveling down to my stomach was crazy it was, oh yeah well it was I got the hiccups like I've been... <laughs> I got the hiccups from the death sauce, and I got the hiccups from this. Like, without a doubt, this is the hottest habanero sauce I've I've had. The red Caribbean habaneros, they knock your dick in the dirt. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I I was shocked. Like, I mean, this was this was hotter than the uh, the Hopper melon by far. Like, it, it was a, a whole lot more noticeable burn. And then, I, I, I mean, I'd really say it's almost on the same level of heat as the Seventh Circle. Like, it... I have to, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, no, but, it's fine. Um, I have to agree. I will say that my ears were ringing. I, I was very euphoric. I felt very unbalanced in the head for a little bit. It was, it, it was, it was crazy. But yeah, I mean, I'd say nine, nine. It was well maybe. worth it, though. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> so. oh yeah. Now, but it'll be on food. It'll be a lot milder. You wanna, you wanna take the first bite? Um, what are we drinking tonight, though? Oh, actually, we are drinking the Pump King from Southern Tier. Mm -hmm. I know it's, you know, it's still the middle of August, so it's a little bit early to be, you know, breaking out the pumpkin pie beer. But since we're having a ham dinner, liquid pumpkin pie in our mouth, it sounds, <laughs> it's almost like a dessert, right? It's never too early for a pumpkin. Yes, exactly. It's awesome beer. If you can get it, totally do it. So anyway, I guess they I'll dig in. They All right. I'm take a swig of the beer because we were just mm -hmm. talking about it. That is a good beer. Mmm. Enjoying that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I, I smell the, the the sauce a whole lot more. I can I get like the, the pineapple scent. It's it's definitely coming off of it. Yeah, the pineapple mm -hmm. the pineapple pineapple the pineapple um is actually kind of coming out a little bit on the food. Um, I'd have to say the heat has toned down just a little bit, at least for me. It's still really flavorful. It still has a little bit of a lingering kick to it, but it, it it's toned mm. down a little bit. But Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, the smell is. Mm. It's, it's, it's a lot more pronounced. Mm -hmm. It's really awesome on sweet, on sweet potatoes. It's very well balanced, and it's, it's just good. Plus the, the thickness of the sauce. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it, it is almost it, it is almost like applesauce consistency. It was mm -hmm. definitely the thickest of the Nepper's pepper sauces that we've tried. And I like that. So it's because it's not so runny and it's not so I don't know flooding over to your other food. Just takes longer to get it out of the bottle though. <laughs> that is one drawback. Yeah, yeah I guess. more time you gotta wait between you know opening the bottle and getting the sauce in your mouth. Yeah, but it's mm. definitely you know staying globbed on on your food so it's really not a messy sauce at all kind of like how the the, the wings were when we did the hobbit melon mm -hmm. you know it just mm -hmm. congeals to it a little mm -hmm. bit that is really good mm -hmm. that is damn good totally worth the wait oh yeah mm -hmm. i mean for flavor i mean i'd say you know it's about eight I mean, it's got the sweetness yeah. of the, the pineapple there. Like, it's definitely noticeable. Way more than I did with the Habermas. It's got a really good flavor. 
Heat nine, maybe nine five. Cause it's I pretty, would say it's up there for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I mean, the aroma is really pleasing. I mean, it's, it's a, I'd say it's about an eight for the aroma too. Like you definitely yeah. smell the pineapple to it, mm -hmm. and you can smell the, the bite of the pepper. Like yeah. it, but it, it definitely invites you. It I deceives would, you too. Um, it deceives you. Ooh, kind of choking up a little bit. I kind of wish it had a little more of a pineapple-y scent or flavor, but um, but it's 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 overall it, it's good. It, I'm I'm probably gonna scarf this down. Oh yeah, as soon as this we is gonna get, get destroyed. <laughs> this is, yeah. But just the few bites I've had, my the front of my tongue is burning. It's it's getting hard to swallow a little bit. Yep. It's it's, it's up it's there. It's really good. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely one of the hotter ones from Nepper's Peppers. It. Mm. It's great. This is a good food pairing, man. Drink that. Have a sip. Okay, I will. Oh, that's like apple pie, dude. It's, pumpkin it's pie. great. Al yeah, pumpkin pie. Apple pie. I don't know where I came from. Came up with that. Whew. It is It is like liquid pumpkin pie in your mouth, and it does go great with this. It feels like it's Thanksgiving. It's not August. Yeah, Thanksgiving came early in the Huber house. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anything else we want to add before we go? Brian, I love this one. This is a good one. <laughs> it, it's, yeah. Definitely yeah. have enjoyed all the sauces you've sent our way. Haven't really been disappointed, and and we, and we got some leftovers. We didn't manage to kill yeah, this one, so normally yeah. killed the bottle, but this one's gonna be lingering on a little. Oh yeah, this one's gonna last us for a while. <laughs> well, on that note, I'm John, and I am Julia. Keep it saucy. Keep it saucy.